Welcome back everybody. In our last episode we had just started our civil war and we took over a bunch of cities here in Italy. We've got Capua, Ariminum, Padavium, and we're also about to take Aretium. We've also blockaded most of the ports for our enemies. We got over here in Africa, we've blockaded most of these ports. And we're slowly moving forward and trying to blockade the ports of the Julii. Fortunately for us, most of Capua's uh, armies are in Africa, so we're, I think we're going to be able to keep them in Africa and not let them attack us in Italy. However, they do have a bunch of armies marching out through the desert. Uh, they may be trying to strike us here in uh, Egypt, which uh, we don't actually have a lot of forces out here. I think I might start training up a little bit. Uh, we do have a little bit of, uh, of a garrison here, but not too much. We're marching out to take um, Cyrene over here. Um, I did get a man of the hour, so I fought some rebels and we got a new general called Tertius Carvilius. And he's actually a pretty good commander, so he, we're going to go take Cyrene over here. So it's going to take the Scipii a few turns to get to us, so hopefully we'll be able to gather more troops. Uh, I don't know what kind of quality. Looks like they're mostly, well, we can only see a couple of units. So they got Triarii, Triarii Principes, and Light Auxilia. But uh, we're going to try to invade Sicily. They've got a lot of armies here, mostly older Roman units. I think I uh, will go ahead and... But first, I think I want to just deal with our Aretium. Only a couple of units, but of course they've got these large stone walls to deal with. So what I'm going to do is... I don't think I need uh, archers for this battle. So let's get our archers out. And I'm going to grab the onagers. We'll be able to uh, take down their towers. And we do have the gates open. I want to take down the gatehouses before I uh, open gates. And I may place down a siege tower and get a unit just to take all the towers. And we'll assault the walls as well. Alright, uh, let's go. Hopefully we don't take... <laughs> A lot of casualties in this battle like we did last time. Hopefully I won't repeat the same mistakes I did last time. Alright, so uh, I've got my onagers over here. And I'm not going to take out these two towers over here. It's pretty far from the gates, which are over here. But in order to get to the town square, I've determined that we'd have to go through these gates. And around and past all these towers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the walls over here and then I'm going to have an infantry unit just go and run through all these gates and take all these gates before I go through the city. And you see here, to get to the town square I'll have to go through here, run along this corridor, and then come through this corner here. So that's why I'm going to take out these two towers. All right, we've taken down two walls. We're going for a third. We might actually take, be able to take down all the towers with our onagers, and these uh, these guys might not even be needed. Let's see if we can reach the tower from here. This other tower. This, they're gonna have to fire over the wall to get to it. All right, another tower down. Let's see if we can take this tower next. See if these guys can go up here. Will they go up here? Yeah, they might not. I'm going to try to get them up here. They're refusing to go up onto the walls. Even though we got a siege tower here. The thing is because... Is it because we have the gates open? Are they actually going to do it? I don't know. Let's keep moving my onagers forward. Can we hit that one? I don't think I can hit the... Let's hit the gatehouse. Hey, we did finally take these walls. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and have them rush from tower to tower. 
Okay, we did manage. We did lose one guy. Let's have him keep going. And I'm gonna have my onagers cease fire because we'll take the gatehouse with our Praetorians. Come on, guys, keep running. All right, now that we've captured it, let's get everybody up here. So something's going on. Why are we... Oh, over here, this tower. Oh no, our Praetorians are getting smashed by this tower. We needed to take one more tower. Shoot. That was a big mistake. Okay, we got the last tower that we're going to have to deal with. And we lost, like, a lot of uh, Praetorians. Unfortunate. Alright, so I'm going to have my uh, Auxilia lead the way and get them like this. Followed by my Praetorians to get a legionary as well. And then I'll move up my archers. Here they come. And hopefully we can lure them out with our archers and then be able to hit their cavalry with our auxilia. Or we could just do some massive damage with our archers. Here they come. Come on, start firing. Got one archer firing, but let's get the rest of them. I've only killed one percent. Here they come. Cohorts are not quite in. Okay, they're not. We haven't done too much damage. We've killed a couple of horsemen. Are they uh, going to try some sort of flanking maneuver? It's going to take them some time. But I'll keep an eye on them. So since they're doing that weird maneuver with... I'm going to get my infantry up. Are they coming back? No idea what they're doing with their general's bodyguard. So, we're doing some damage with our... Let's get our auxilia over here. comes back. Don't need to run. Let's go ahead and charge their Praetorians. Oh, I didn't want to send my auxilia. Uh, mistake. All right, auxilia, target the cavalry. And let's get our general to target their cohorts in the back. We got their general surrounded. We got their cohorts surrounded. And 
we got the enemy general. Alright, that was not bad. That was not bad. We just lost 81 guys. Pretty good. <laughs> Compared to the last time where I just got destroyed. Alright, yeah, we're going to give them the same treatment as all the other cities we've conquered. Extermination. Another city down. Alright, I'm going to take uh, Tersh Tertius and go ahead and hit Cyrene over here. We got the gates open. I don't know what kind of armies they've got. 1,300 people, but mostly peasants and some chariots. One unit of bowmen. This is uh, not my best army over here, but I think we should be able to take him. Of course, we have a 6 to 1. We got the gates open. Alright, I got three groups here. We're going to try to take out as many as we can with our archers first. Fortunately, it's just the uh, weak uh, Roman archers. But we do have some archer auxilia, which have the extended range. Over here doesn't look like anything uh, to watch out for these towers. Let's uh, go this way. I'm surprised they actually sallied forth over here and tried to tag me with some peasants. Luckily I had my uh, auxilia out here to protect them. They quickly changed their minds. Alright, I've done quite a few, quite a bit of damage. I got uh, like 50-60% with my archers. I'm going to go ahead and send this main assault group forward. So lead off with my Triarii, just in case they send out their chariots. Have some legionaries backing them up. And get some auxilia in here. Another group of legionaries. And just get all these guys to double time. Alright. We got the walls. Um, didn't notice these guys there. Let's send my Roman cavalry after them. They've routed. Might actually not be necessary. Yeah. Let them run. Only 13 of them left. Let's get information first. We got a little bit more arrows, so let's get our archers moving forward. Let's just get all of our cavalry behind. Oh, it looks like they are firing at us with their bowmen. Let's try to get our archers to, I mean, get our archers to attack them, but let's get our cavalry in there now. The gate should be relatively cleared. These guys are going through there, and then I'll have to make sure and try and retreat uh, if they s send out their main forces at us. Send out their chariots or something. All right. Okay, well, that's enough. Let's get them back. All right, I'm gonna get these guys in here, and then this unit. my general in here and maybe we can fire over these buildings actually let's, let's get my triaria here okay let's just charge
yeah, we're, we've got everybody in here fighting. Might have rushed them in a little bit too soon. But, uh, there's their general. We got him. And, yeah, now everybody just charge in. We still have a couple of chariots left. But mostly just peasants. Finally, these guys came in. Alright, uh, 83 losses. Not bad. We're gonna exterminate this population too. Just don't wanna deal. I don't wanna leave any troops here, especially. The Skippy Eye is probably gonna end up taking this town. Uh, because I won't be able to get enough troops here to fend them off. I'm gonna get another army down here into, uh, Sicily. Get them on a boat to help out with the invasion of Sicily. We're dealing with a little bit of public order issues. I can just lower my taxes. Let's get some peasants. I'm going to move this uh, army out of Padavium. And just sit them on this bridge for now. Uh, and then we'll besiege uh, Media Lenanum and deal with this army over here of the Julii. Imperator. I'm gonna get this uh, army of Decius over here a little bit closer as well. We'll get another army. Let's see, this army kinda needs to train up a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna get this army over here to move out. And I'm just going to get my general to go and join them. He doesn't really need to train up at all. And I might take after take out Gesta with him. Or maybe deal with this uh, large... Depending on where this uh, Roman army goes. I'm going to get Quintus Flores over here out of uh, Arminum. So I'm just going to move him first and then load him up with an army. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, it looks like they've moved quite a bit of armies up here into the north. And, uh... Um, they got at least three stacks here. Definitely have to hit him before this they get their generals in in line let's see what they got over here uh, some Praetorians and some siege equipment and over here just a big stack of uh, infantry and cavalry lacking any kind of um, archer units they do have skirmishers all right we gained popularity with the people and we're at the max popularity with the people. They absolutely love us. And we actually turned a profit again, probably because of the these uh, those <laughs> destroying, exterminating cities. All right, I'm gonna start off with uh, Lucius Brutus over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Uh, Hit Segesta. There's really not much in there. Hopefully we can get the walls opened. Nope. No. Our spies didn't work this turn. Let's just get a bunch of rams. Besiege them. I don't think these guys will be able to help out in time. They might be able to march an army over and reinforce. But they won't be able to attack me. Alright. I'm going to get this army of Decius over here and just hit this... Uh, army here, Captain Her get him attack this army we'll have to deal with their reinforcements we 
which is uh, pretty tough, but they've got a some siege equipment that can reach us from far long range but we'll have to take them out with our cavalry if we can let's uh, go ahead and fight this all right I'm gonna march my infantry forward as fast as possible try to take out this army before the reinforcements come having my cavalry try to march up behind them and we do have this auxilia to worry about, so I don't want to directly engage them. And this left flank is going to be precarious because their uh, reinforcements will arrive there first. All right, everybody, run! The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Oh yeah, we want to hit these guys with our auxilia. Definitely want to hit their... ...ballistas. Let's get our guys charging. This is no way for a minute to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. All right, looks like we've routed them. Uh, not quite, not quite. But I want to get this infantry up, protecting against this flank. They are not soldiers. Great. Got them. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. All right, now for our cavalry. In our Scorpions fire at this range. Let's see. Cavalry. Just line up behind. Double time. Let's get our auxilia up here. Let's hit their left flank. Double time. Double time. Oh, we're out of, uh, we're out of, uh, ammunition. So, let's get this cavalry group on the left, along with this one. Get, uh oh, they're charging. Are they? Okay, let's get our cavalry. Let's get this cavalry on the left. All right, those guys are routed. Halt. Oh, what's going on over here? Just a face-off, but I think we outnumber you. And let's go after their... Nope, they've, we've routed them. Let's run. I don't want to face off against their troops. Okay, yeah, I don't, it's not ideal to face off against Auxilia, but we outnumber them so much and we had them surrounded, so they just routed right away. Okay, looks like they're not charging yet. What do we got over here? Roman cavalry. Well, we outnumber you. Let's go ahead. Get these guys to route. Good. over here, Principes. And more Principes. Let's go ahead and charge. I think they're in a all-out uh, retreat, kind of. 
for the most part. Alright, just get everybody charging. Let's just take out as many as we can. Before they get away. This was an easy victory for us. Unfortunately, a lot of them are going to get away, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, it looks like they're turning around and attacking. Pretty nice. Uh, we only lost like a couple hundred guys, so that was a really good victory. So this will be the big battle here. Probably next turn they will probably will attack us. I think we can handle them. And look at that, we got a command bonus. So now he's a two-star general. Good. We're going to have this m army march out of Padavium and head north and take on Luvavum because there's not much of a garrison here so they should be able to handle them alright let's go ahead and get the uh, invasion of Sicily started so let's go ahead and take out Masana first so let's go ahead and fight alright well I'm just gonna have my ballistas take out their gate I'm gonna have these onagers see if they can actually hit somebody in the town square. I mean, the odds are not good. I'm wondering if they will even fire though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have them take out these towers first. It's probably gonna be pretty hard for them to hit them. <laughs> We're probably gonna destroy a bunch of buildings. They'll have to be re rebuilt. The accuracy of these things are not the greatest. Well, we got one tower. Ballistas took the gate. Got another tower. What if I just set him to fire at will? Let's have this one take on this tower. But once I get these towers out, I should be able to march up my uh, Cretan archers and have them start firing over the walls. And I wonder if I can fire Will here. Will these guys actually fire? Alright, don't go in front of the ballistas. Alright, our Cretan archers are in firing range should be able to hit these legionary cohorts. They also got their uh, general up. I might be able to hit their general with uh, an arrow. Wow, I nearly hit him with an onager. Yeah, I managed to kill the uh, enemy general, general with, uh, with my Cretan archers. Looks 
Looks like there's a uh, volcanic eruption going on nearby. That's an interesting touch. Alright, looks like this uh, legionary is in Testudo. But their back is exposed to me, so I should be able to hit them with my Cretan archers. And I am doing a little bit of damage to them. Alright, let's see if I can get him with my onagers. Direct hit. Uh, hit that building. <laughs> hit another building. That one looks a little bit... That might hit him. Boom! Got him. Got him. That's gonna hit the building. Alright, we did as much damage as we could with our onagers and our Cretan archers. Let's go ahead and start moving in. We still have some arrows left. I might hit this, uh, hit these, uh, these guys here in the square. But, uh, I'm going to use my Praetorians and take out this army over here first. Alright, let's get my archers over here. Get the rest of my infantry. Just marching on this, these guys. I mean, hopefully my archers will be able to fire over these buildings. We'll see. Alright, looks like we're finally in range. Although I don't... Oh, ouch. Can they actually fire? Am I actually doing any damage? Well, a couple of arrows have gotten over. Oh, I did do some damage. Okay. Alright. Where are they going? Are they going after my archers? Cavalry's making it around this way. No idea where they're going. Yeah, again, this city's just a maze. Alright, I'm going to send my legionary cohorts to charge. As well as my praetorian cohorts. We're going to charge these legionaries. I don't know why these guys are going after my cavalry. They've got a long way to go. Interesting. I'm going to get my cavalry to go back. And, uh, yeah, if we could just take the square. These guys might take turn back. Yeah, let's get my cavalry now to charge. Now that these guys are charging out. Get them to charge. We're pretty tired. Alright, we got these guys surrounded. Let's have my archers hold their fire.
Alright, just down to a couple of guys left. Alright, another good siege. Only lost 27 guys this time. And another extermination. And let's go ahead and get our other army out here and attack Syracuse. Yes, Captain. Let's see, can we get Asinius to join them? Imperator. Let's go ahead and besiege Syracuse. Prepare for battle. Besiege they have the stone sir. walls. Settlement under siege, sir! Daryl, Imperator! But all they've got is a general. That's it. So what I'm going to do is Order. Order. get rid of... Imperator. Oh, I can't move these guys out, unfortunately. Imperator. I was going to get rid of them and uh, get a, some onagers and Praetorians in there. But that's okay. Let's just get our onagers to join the battle. And that should be enough. It's just stone walls. It's not large stone walls. We should be able to take General. out... Uh, we should be able to take out their stone walls. And uh, take out the gatehouse, maybe. And just rush in there and uh, attack their general. Let's go ahead and fight. Looks like Asinius is turning out to be a great general. Alright, I'm going to have one set of onagers take out the gates, and the other one take out the towers. And let's see about a route to the town square. Is there a direct route without going by every single set of towers to get to it? Alright, I think so. I think if I go down here, those towers are not going to be able to get me... Yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna have them both take the gates. I gotta make sure the gates gates have to be our priority. The gatehouse is secondary. And it seems like we're hitting the gatehouse anyways. And we're just not hitting that... Gates. If only I had ballistas, I think they would do better. Just not that accurate. That might have been a hit. Come on, guys, hit the, the gates. Okay, there was a direct hit. Another direct hit. Finally, we've got him open. Alright. Let's just go march in. Send out our infantry first. Wait a few seconds. Then send out our archers. Let everybody get in the gates. Alright, I got him uh, 
surrounded in the center here and just taking them out real quick. There he is, fighting it out. He's gonna be the last man standing. We got him. All right, well, we lost 53 guys. It's not too bad. We got a uh, rebel navy over here. Let's just go ahead and take them out real quick. And we sunk them. Victory! Let's split this fleet up and have him blockade Narbo Martius and Massilia. Send this fleet over here. To, to blockade Asuka. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. They did not attack me. I'm going to go ahead and attack Segesta. We got five rams. They only have a general's bodyguard and an auxilia. Let's go ahead and fight them. I'm just going to go ahead and send out my ram. Doesn't look like they're trying to protect the walls. So there's no one really that I'll be able to shoot with my archers. But we'll have to get them when, once we get in the city. There's their general. Their auxilia is in the square already. But I can form up over here into this uh, quadrant and shoot him with arrows, I think. The enemy gate is down! Our battering ram has done its work! Alright, so I'm getting my guys lined up here. Our archers, when they get in place, they should start firing automatically. Um, it's going to take us a while to get in place. But I basically got all my auxilia, hopefully going to lure out their their cavalry. If not, I've got some Hastati and Prince Bays that can attack their, uh, their auxilia. So let's go ahead and set these guys to fire at will so they throw their javelins. I'm going to have these guys double time because it's just taking them forever to get in position here. They're all kind of jam-packed in this little square here. Alright, these guys are going to halt and we're going to start attacking. And here they come, just as I expected. Well, no, they're waiting, which is good for us. If they, The longer they wait, the more arrows we can hit them with. Looks like they're auxilia. We're thinking about it, but they're just lining up. We're not getting too many arrows out. We're getting a few killed a couple of guys. So it looks like they're not going to attack us with their... Well, they're just lining up again. That uh, column is blocking a lot of the arrows. If they get closer, I'm going to send my infantry. Oh, wait. No, here comes their cavalry. So I've got the right guys in front. I've got my auxilia in front to take on their cavalry. I might just hold position. Alright, let's just get my infantry to charge. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! Okay, so uh, I've got this in the victory screen. Since they're in the city, I didn't kill their general yet. So I'm worried that if I hit in battle, their general's going to escape. But I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway, see what happens. I think they should. we should automatically kill him. So let's just see what happens when I hit in battle. Alright, and I only lost 22 guys. Let's see what happens. I should take the city, and their general should be dead. Yeah. He just disappeared, I think. And I'm going to exterminate the population. So, pretty good victory. I got him to rout in the town. I mean, 
I didn't attack him in the town square, so they were, didn't fight to the last man. They actually just routed. So took very minimal casualties, only 27. It's pretty good. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to march this army out right now. I'm going to take every single guy, and I'm just going to place them right on the bridge. And we'll get this army trapped in here. Uh, I don't want to attack him with this army. They're just not good. I mean, it's mostly uh, auxilia. Uh, I don't really have much infantry here. But they're perfect for holding a bridge. All right, I can get my auxilia just to defend the bridge, hit him with my archers. I've got a few uh, infantries, but... I should be able to hold the bridge with this army, but I wouldn't want to fight an army like this in the field. Uh, I'd rather hit him with this army. So, I do have a bunch of guys in Aretium. I can go over here. I should be able... I, I don't want to leave Segesta empty, so... I'm going to move a bunch of my troops into Segesta and then next turn I'll swap out some of these auxilia with uh, some better infantry I'm gonna move this army up north uh, to besiege Luvavum we'll build some rams I don't think I have a spy in this town so I won't be able to open the gates but they don't even have a general just uh, Hastati Light auxilia and an auxilia, so pretty light uh, forces up there. Orders. I'm gonna send uh, Asinius over here to fight uh, Captain Valerius. Prepare for battle. And we've got way more men than they do, but their infantry is much better quality. Although we do have uh, some legionary cohorts. They've got Praetorian cohorts, and we have a lot of archers, so they don't have a lot of cavalry, and we have more guys, so we should be able to flank them. Alright, so I think I've got some high grounds over here, so let's get formed up as quickly as possible. And it looks like, are they running to get the high ground? No, nope, they're not. So, <clears throat> that's good. Um, we got a uh, fortunate um, location here with the high grounds. Because we're coming down from the mountains. Just trying to move out into range. Probably have to move forward just a little bit. And it looks like they're running away. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch them. We only have three cavalry. We could just take out some uh, Praetorians over here. But that might actually hurt. <laughs> uh, if we get them with a good charge and can encircle them. Maybe we can get him to route so we don't take as many casualties. Let's get my general over here. Let's get this legionary over here. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, get him surrounded. Hopefully they can route soon, so we don't have to tangle with them. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Let's get my general. Let's go. Let's try to take out another group real quick. They only got eight guys left. Let's have this group finish them off. Okay, no, they're done. They're gone. All right. Well, uh, they ran away, but I ended up taking out their best unit when only losing 12 guys. 
So, it worked out pretty well. Victory! And of course, they're going to be out of range. So, I do have another army that can hit them. So, we'll do that. It's, uh, I'm going to hit them with Secundus. Attack! Although, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might just have them sit and wait. Because they've got all of their uh, settlement. I may uh, wait. have to wait till next turn to, to really hit them. Because I don't have my best army. Sir! Sir! Leaving the army! Onward! Merging armies! General! Sir! Splitting the troops! Alright, I'm going to have Asinius lead this army. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab some mercenaries real quick some slingers and hoplites and then go ahead and attack with both my generals and actually a pretty decent army I've got two praetorian cohorts, some legionary cohorts and my Cretan archers so um, we're about even they've got uh, almost 4,000 men. We have 2,700, but we have the better quality this time because we took out their Praetorian cohorts. And let's see what they have in their. I can't look at what they have in reserve. Um, so let's go ahead and fight this. If we wipe out their reinforcements, we will take the city. So. All right, so uh, it looks like their reinforcements are delayed. All right, we are now in range. I think they're just gonna stand and take it. I don't think they're gonna rush me. So we should just be able to kill most of them with our arrows. There's really no rushing this battle. Our archers can build up experience. The enemy have brought more men to All right, here they come. All right, let's get my infantry forward double time. So they brought their reinforcements. That's good news for us. And don't forget my generals. Alright, they're charging. Right at our Praetorians. They got their heavy cav over here got to get some help for the, our cavalry. Let's go. Surround them. We should be able to kill the enemy general. I'm going to halt. He got away, but that's okay. Let's get our infantry lined up. Let's take care of these uh, Testudo guys. And get uh, get our generals back. <laughs> Come on guys. The army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battle. Are these guys running away? No. It's okay. They're gonna get away and they'll get into the city. But that's okay. Let's wipe out their reinforcements. Actually, they're coming they're still coming towards us. Let's get our missiles, our archers set up double time. Let's get our right flank set up. Everybody double time. Where's our generals? 
Just get us back into our formation. What are you guys doing? Why aren't you moving? Oh, I didn't have them set up properly. Get back in formation. What are their reinforcements doing? They're just setting up defensive positions here. So we're going to have to move out. I'm going to strike the cavalry over here and take out their cavalry real quick. I don't know why they're marching so far off in the distance. So let's do that. Let's go wipe out their cavalry. And they're just Equites and one Roman cavalry. So we should be able to wipe them out pretty qu quickly. Especially if with our general's bodyguard. So let's get these guys around here and have these guys strike and get our other cavalry to strike. They should route pretty quickly. The Equides are already routed. Okay, we're all routed. Let's get back. Get our general back. We took out their cavalry. And they won't have any flanking power. Double time. Get back in formation. Let's take advantage of this. Press forward with our infantry. Double time. What are these guys? Hastati. We're gonna attack. And have some cavalry support. All right, let's line up. Those Hastati should be routing soon. Yep, let's get our general out. We don't want things to get too crazy out of hand. Uh, what's going on over here? Those are Velites. Get our Praetorian cohorts in there. All right, let's go charge out everybody. Uh, I should, I needed some cavalry on the other side to deal with these Velites. Oh well. Let's get our cavalry here to take on their general. I forgot about their general. That's okay. The gods who fill the heart. He's routed. General with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Oh good, we got their general. Be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Oh no, 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 no. Get away from our Cretan archers. No, not our Christian archers. Okay, good. They're routed. Oh, some of their routed equites have come back. Alright, things have kind of gotten out of hand here. Kind of chaotic. Okay, we need more cavalry. We need more semblance of a formation.
Alright. We got our flanks secured. Looks like they're forming up again. We're gonna go at this again. Uh, get back in the phalanx formation. Man, they, they still have a lot of equities left. Need to get our cavalry back over here. Alright, we need to kill as many as we can. Because they're definitely going to be going back to the city. Alright, well, I think they definitely got enough away. So, especially um, their second army. So, I think they are going to be able to occupy the city. Nope, we got them. We routed both armies and got another settlement. Awesome. Without having to do a siege. Cool. So Sicily now is ours. And now we have 44 regions controlled. And we just need five more regions. And then we can take on Rome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.